Now to the latest in the Middle East. Israeli police investigating a suspected terror attack over after a truck plowed into a crowd in Tel Aviv. It came just a day after Israel launched its largest ever direct attack on Iran. ABC's Rena Roy has the very latest. A potential terror attack unfolding at a bus stop in Tel Aviv when Israeli authorities say a truck plowed into a crowd, killing a 72-year-old man and injuring more than 30 others. The driver, who police say was an Israeli Arab citizen, shot dead by armed civilians at the scene. Israeli officials now investigating the incident, which happened just a day after Israel launched its largest ever direct attack on Iran, following a massive Iranian missile barrage earlier this month. Israeli officials say they used more than 100 aircraft to strike Iran's air defenses and missile and drone production storage sites. You can see buildings destroyed in an industrial area. Iran saying the attack will lead to bitter consequences. A foreign ministry spokesman vowing to use all available tools in their response. It comes as fighting also rages on in Gaza. The Hamas-run health ministry says in three weeks, more than 1,000 people have been killed in Gaza, mostly women and children. The IDF releasing this footage showing a raid on a hospital there, claiming they found weapons inside and apprehended about 100 fighters. And at least nine people were killed after an Israeli airstrike hit this school, which was sheltering displaced Gazans. Israel says hostages are still being held inside Gaza. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu holding a memorial service in honor of the victims in the October 7th attacks. Some family members shouting at him, yelling, shame on you. His weekly cabinet meeting now moved to an undisclosed location today due to safety concerns related to a Hezbollah drone attack on his private residence earlier this month. Attempts to jumpstart ceasefire talks are once again underway. U.S. and Israeli officials are in Doha to discuss a short-term deal and the release of hostages by Hamas in exchange for Israel's release of Palestinian prisoners. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.